now we are going to discuss about the topic spermatogenesis you will be knowing that what is mean by spermatogenesis spermatogenesis means nothing it is the formation of sperm from testes by definition we can say that spermatogenesis is the continuous series of events by which the primitive germ cells so the spermatogonia or we can say that the sperm mother cells from the sperm mother cells active sperms are formed and this is actually this process is uh, is actually a continuous series so we can clumsily say that uh, the formation of sperm from the sperm mother cell is called a spermatogenesis all kinds of uh, matured gametes that is whether it is sperm or ovum it is generally developed from its mother cell which is called a primordial germ cell if it is a sperm we can say that the mother cell is primordial sperm mother cell if it is uh, ovum we can say that primordial egg cell okay from this the matured sperms are developing so when they are developing in an or in which time they are uh, begin to differentiate in an organism during the fourth week of pregnancy the cells that is this primordial germ cell will migrate into the gonads either in the testis or in the ovary during this migration they will increase in number by means of mitosis so primarily uh, this primary germ cells are undergoes repeated division uh, uh, at the time of fourth week and uh, they will migrate into the gonads so during the division uh, they will increase its size and finally they will be dislodged into the gonads either in the testis or in the ovary the primary in, in the case of uh, sperm mother cell or primitive sperm germ cell they will produces mature sperm within 74 days so the actual formation of sperm from a sperm mother cell is 74 days and uh, the sperms will uh, then when it is formed inside that 70 first tubules of testis they will move through the fa- male reproductive tract and uh, uh, after moving through the male reproductive tract during the copulation they will uh, they will be dislodged into the female reproductive tract through the sexual intercourse and the capacitation which is followed by the capacitation that is the removal of uh, all kinds of cholesterol and proteins over the head region of the or the acrosome of the sperm in the female reproductive tract so how can we uh, divide this particular process we can uh, entirely divide the we can divide the entire process of spermatogenesis into two different stages which is called a formation of haploid spermatids and the uh, second stage is called the spermiation that means uh, from the spermatid the mature sperms are uh, formed so uh, these are the two different processes which is taking place during spermatogenesis formation of haploid spermatids and the conversion of this spermatid into the sperm so we can uh, divide this first stage that is the formation of spermatids into uh, three different stages that is phases of multiplication growth phase and maturation phase so this is the major events which is generally taking place in the life of a sperm so the first one uh, you can see in the picture itself the sperm the first one is called the spermatogonia and the spermatogonia will uh, increase in size and uh, and it, and it uh, uh, results in the formation of a structure that is called a primary spermatocyte you can see that the primary spermatocyte uh, and uh, this primary spermatocyte will undergoes mitosis so that what happens is that uh, two 
uh, cells are formed from the primary spermatocyte that is called a secondary the, the formed one is called secondary spermatocytes and from the secondary spermatocytes they undergo meiotic division that is meiosis so the secondary primary spermatocyte and primary spermatocyte and sp spermatogonia are two in in number and uh, uh, from the secondary spermatocyte it will uh, develops in the formation of spermatid the spermatids are actually reduced chromosome they generally having re reduced chromosome number that means the secondary spermatocyte it undergoes meiotic division and produces uh, four spermatids from one secondary uh, spermatocytes two spermatids are formed and the another secondary spermatid the same will happen so from one spermatogonia or from one primary spermatocytes four spermatids are formed okay so the meiosis is over then the uh, next stage is called uh, maturation phase so, or we can say that the uh, second stage is of uh, spermatogenesis that is called uh, spermiogenesis spermiogenesis is nothing but it is a morphological uh, differentiation of a spermatid into uh, into functional sperm here what happens is that here you can see in the picture it the spermatids are, are do not having a structure which is uh, which is uh, generally found in a sperm so uh, during this transformation the spermatid uh, acquires the regions such as head midpiece and tail and develops into an entire structural uh, uh, entire structure of a sperm here you can see in the last stage okay so uh, this is the processes which is generally taking place during uh, spermatogenesis that is uh, the first one is the formation of spermatids which includes the phases of multiplication growth phase and maturation and the uh, spermiogenesis which generally includes uh, the morphological transformation of spermatids into functional sperm with a complete morphological differentiation okay so these are the sperm this is actually what happens during the life cycle of a sperm okay then the next stage is uh, spermiogenesis we can uh, in the picture itself we, we can uh, see that how a spermatid uh, undergoes uh, different morphological differentiation and results in the formation of a fun functional sperm uh, so uh, here you can see that this is starting with the spermatids and it undergoes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different morphological changes and it finally uh, it, is, it, it in turn leads to the formation of a functional sperm that is 8. Okay, so uh, let's move to the detail of what are the morphological changes which is occurs during a spermiogenesis. The spermatid undergoes radial metamorphosis. That means it undergoes the following changes inside its cytoplasm. Uh, the nuclear as well as the cytoplasmic uh, reorganization take place. Then elongation of spermatids take place. It undergoes many uh, morphological as well as biochemical changes in its nucleus. That is nucleus is getting translocated into the head region. Then the condensation of cytoplasm and chromatin. Then uh, cytoplasmic uh, organelle uh, which the cytoplasmic organelle which moves into uh, into a more complex structures then uh, spermatid attains maturity the nucleolus and its cytoplasm get eliminated nucleolus is another structure which is generally found in the cytoplasm of this uh, spermatid it, it as well as the cytoplasm gets eliminated then from a uh, formation of acrosome that is the head cap the cap which is found on the uh, head region is called acrosome. The acrosome will be developed from the Golgi apparatus. Then formation of middle piece. Formation of middle piece means the middle piece generally includes central as well as mitochondria. This region is also developing during spermiogenesis and the, the functional sperm will be formed. Then what about the nature of the sperm? The sperm must generally having 0 0.06 millimeter in length with a lifespan of 24 to 72 hours and it can divide the whole structure into head neck and tail then what about the hormonal control the hypothalamus and the associated uh, glands are responsible for uh, the spermatogenesis the hypothalamus will produces the gonadotropin releasing hormone which will act upon the anterior pituitary the anterior pituitary will act with the two hormones that is luteinizing hormone and 
uh, and a follicular stimulating hormone the luteinizing hormone will moves into the leydig cells that we have uh, already des discussed yesterday the leydig cells are the those cells which is generally found in between the seminiferous tubules right the lady cells are responsible for producing the hormone that is called a testosterone this testosterone is very much important for the differentiation of male reproductive system or uh, it is essential for the spermatogenesis to happen so that's all about what so that's all about the uh, spermatogenesis and